guys, you're welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another A S M R video. So I know it's been a while since I've done a soft spoken video, and I did recently get my wireless mics that I still want to play around with a little bit until I kind of perfect the audio. I don't know. I need to stop saying that because let's be real, I'm not perfecting anything. I still have so much to learn when it comes to audio, but I'm sure you guys can tell I got a new camera. She's absolutely stunning. This is the Sony A7C, but I thought today it would be fun to ask you some personal questions and kind of see if any of your answers have changed from the last time, okay? So, I'm just going to be typing away on the computer. I don't want you to think too deeply about these questions. It's really meant to just kind of get to know you more and see some areas that we might relate to each other, and I don't know, I just enjoy getting to know you guys, and I especially love when you guys actually leave some responses in the comments. It always makes me, I don't know, it feels more personal, and it feels more like a conversation, so if you find yourself wanting to answer any of these um, in the typing form as opposed to verbally or mentally, um, please feel welcome to, because it always makes me really happy. Okay, so, let's see. Okay, my first question is, what is a childhood memory that makes you smile? I really like that. Yeah, I think, I think that's a great answer. You know, for me, I always really loved going to the park and riding my bike down, like, what I felt was a large incline. I always really loved it. Um, made me feel like a badass. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we'll lock that answer in. And my next question is, what drives you to get up every morning? What is your ambition that makes you excited to start your day? Okay. Hmm. Coffee. <laughs> that is a very valid response. But the question is, what type of coffee? Do you drink black coffee? Are you a latte, cappuccino? flat white, cold brew, espresso, there's so many options. What's your go-to? Nice. I'm an, I'm a, excuse me, I'm an ice latte girl, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. How would you say that you spend your free time? Okay. Yeah like a good time. <laughs> and sleeping, right? Naturally, of course. Okay. And what are your hobbies and how did you get into them? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's really nice. I don't know that we have any of the same hobbies except for reading. Mm -hmm. I do love to read and similar to you, I just always loved it as a little girl. I can still remember like my first memory of reading the word the and I went th because t-h-e my brain just couldn't quite comprehend it. Um, so it's a pretty advanced reader and writer as a kid and I loved it. Okay, what is a goal that you are working towards right now? It could be anything. It can be um, work, um, 
physical, friendship goals, love goals, financial goals. Okay, financial, mine would be a financial goal too. Okay, what's yours? Yeah, that's great. I actually just finally paid off my own credit card debt, um, which was my financial goal as well. And now that that is finally done, I would say my financial goal is to add more to my savings. I feel like I've been negligent in that regard, so I definitely want to add more. my very watered down iced coffee like very watered down but I do need to finish this okay um let's see what is your favorite way to unwind after a hectic day yeah Oh, I think that makes sense. Yeah, I think I think it's important to have movement in our bodies and to process our emotions. I've always been, um, if I'm unwinding, I mean, I'm typically laying in bed in the supine position. <laughs> Maybe I read, um, I might write. I've recently, after a long time, gotten out of a writing, write, writer's block. So I'm working on a zine right now, like a poetry zine, and it's covering everything regarding the loss of my mom, which is sad, but it's been a really nice way to unwind because I recognize that I am honoring my emotions and my experiences, and it feels like I'm releasing a part of me that is holding a lot of tension, so I think it's been really great in that regard. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you could visit any place in the entire world, where would it be and why? Any place. Yes. I'm gonna think about this too. That's a good one. I'm not gonna copy you. I would say oh, if I could visit any place in the world. That is really hard. I have so many places that I wanna visit. I think like at the top of my list because it feels so far from happening, even though maybe it's not like actually my first choice, but I would say something like um, Bora Bora. I would love to just wake up in the middle of like a crystal clear blue ocean in those little huts. Um, I know that there's places other than Bora Bora that do that now, but I think that's like my first choice that makes me excited. Yeah. But I mean, I want to go to Japan. I want to go to Morocco, Portugal, Spain, but that one just feels like a, it's just so expensive. So maybe at some point, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, what book or movie left a lasting impression on you? And this can be like that you've watched in the last year, or maybe that is like from your childhood. But there has to be a movie, right, that stands out to you. It would be one for me. Left a lasting impression. Hmm. Okay, what's yours? I was going to say the exact same thing. Yes, I, I just saw A Quiet Place day one, and that movie struck me to my core. I've always loved, like, the, the series, um, oh yeah, but that movie, I cried so much, yeah, it might be the best one of the three, dare I say it, I just, 
I just thought they did a wonderful job telling the story and introducing new characters and making me care. Almost care about them more than the characters from the original. So yeah, we have the same answer there. Okay, let's see. Um, also, just the context of the movie were things that I m maybe can't personally relate to, but can relate to in terms of people in my life, and so it really touched me in that way as well. Okay, tell me a cherished achievement, and what did that mean to you? I'll put my coffee down here. Cherished achievement, and what did that mean to you? Yeah, I want you to sit with that for a minute. Cherished achievement. You thought of it? Okay, let's hear it. and definitely something to be like so so proud of how long ago was that oh wow no i i think i think that's really special i think that's really special and i'm so wow blown away by you truly that is so incredible and i I hope you wake up and feel incredible for that every day. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know that I, I don't even know that I want to add to that. I think, um, yours is so beautiful. I, I think we can just keep that answer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You really want me to. Cherished achievement. I would say maybe just the career that I've been able to create for myself, it's very surreal sometimes and, you know, I got in so early and I feel incredibly blessed and, and lucky and fulfilled doing what I do and I, I think it's been a huge achievement for me. I think it's probably my biggest achievement in life is the career that I've made, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for having me answer. Okay. Um, let's see. What else do I want to ask you? There's so many great questions that I got written down here. Okay. I love this question. What does happiness mean to you? And what is your way of pursuing happiness? What is your pursuit of happiness? Yeah, that's, that's good. Mm-hmm. I love that answer. Yeah, that, that is pretty much on the nose. Yeah, I think happiness is in the mundane, repetitive activities that we experience every day. Um, it's the beauty of waking up and opening our eyes in the morning. I think happiness is what you make it and how you view things. It's all perspective. And until I think you can appreciate the simple, mundane things of life, from there, we get to happiness. Very similar to you. Yeah, I like that. Um, okay, how important is family to you? Okay. Just pulled a knot in my ear. Yeah, say that last line one more time. Yeah. Mm hmm. And how do you define family? Is family for you um, blood only? Is it is family the people we meet in life? Do you have people in your life that are not blood related that you view as more family than? your actual family. Mm -hmm. 
I think it's quite similar for me. I think my family is my family and there is a love there that is not replaceable, but I don't know that... I don't know. I, yes, family is important to me, but I think family is the family that we make along with our blood members, if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to lighten the questions a little bit. I know they've been pretty deep and intense, and I hope you enjoyed that part with me, but let's, I'm going to lighten it up, make it a little more casual. What would be a book that you would recommend to me? Or maybe start with a genre. Narrow down a genre, and then you can think of a book, because I know that would really overwhelm me. Okay, thriller. Okay, I'll write that down. The Silent Patient. Got it. Okay, cool. I'll recommend a book for you too, but it'll have to be later because I have a lot of books to sort through. Do you have any pets? Okay. Wow. Cool. Okay. Do you enjoy spending time outdoors? Mm -hmm. Especially during summer and winter too. Okay. Awesome. Uh, what's something that you wish you had more time to do? You know, before I probably would have said sleep, but ever since I started taking prescription grade vitamin D, that's changed my life. Um, but no, I, I definitely love, love, love spending time outdoors. And it, it could be, it doesn't necessarily have to mean like in nature. I just like to be out and experiencing the world around me, you know? Yeah. What are some ways that you like to stay active and healthy? Okay, and how often do you do that? Do you do anything else on top of that? Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's, yeah, that's so impressive. Yeah, for me, um, currently I am obsessed with Pilates and Legree. So I aim to work out like four to five times a week. I do like two Pilates sessions, three Legree sessions. I aim for 10K steps a day, but I'm probably getting between like six to 8K. And I think that's kind of my like main way of staying healthy, trying to be mindful of eating a lot of protein, drinking a lot of water and having a good balance in my diet and getting good sleep. Yeah, that, that's been really important. Um, what would be your idea of a perfect vacation? Okay. Okay, and then? I love it. Yeah. Um, I mean, a perfect vacation to me is somewhere tropical. Um, the ocean, sand, sun, snorkeling, good food. That's just, I think, because when I go on vacation, I view it as like a complete change from my day-to-day -day life. So that one typically makes me the most excited. Yeah. For example, I'm going to Cabo for my birthday. I'm turning 30 and I'm going with my partner and I'm so excited um, because we're just staying at like an all-inclusive resort and relaxing and just taking it all in. So I think that would be it for me. Yeah. I think those are all my questions for now. 
Do you feel good about that? I feel like I had fun. I feel like I learned so much about you too that I would have never guessed. That's why I love asking questions like this and I feel like it also gets you thinking a little bit deeper about yourself and who you are and the things that make you happy. So thanks for hanging out with me and letting me ask you some questions and letting me answer them too. It's really fun getting to know you. Let's do this again soon.